Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First and ten, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw once more on second and ten, Hurts. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. On first down, Tannehill, they set up the screen for Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. Here's Tannehill. Throw left side complete. That's Phillips. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Tannehill. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Titans will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Bullock good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Traylon Burks capping things off with a touchdown catch. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. So we've reached. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they trail here in this Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. 
Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Another run here with Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. On first and 10, it's Sanders. They find some open field here. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Down to about the 32. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to Hauna. We'll be back. Play action. Here's Hurts. Towards the end zone for Brown. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, 32 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here in Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. First down now, but that clock rolling. Throwing Tannehill to Henry. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Being chased out left. He's got Henry. And they're going to get this up to midfield. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Tannehill to throw. Over to Hooper on the sideline. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Tannehill. This one hauled in. Again, it's Hooper. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Henry again on second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. On third down, Henry. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. 
Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This, undoubtedly, the biggest kick of his life. He's got the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and a costly one there, as this game remains tied here in the fourth. the Titans who will control the football first here in overtime as we're back underway. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And CD, we get to see the debut of the brand new postseason overtime rules. Now as everybody is learning, both teams are going to be guaranteed an offensive possession. So they might get the ball first here, but a touchdown does not right away win the game. And we saw many marker games along the way that sparked a lot of conversation. But the Buffalo-Kansas City game in the 2022 playoffs, that really brought about this rule change. What an amazing game, a true classic. Ended in overtime without Buffalo getting a shot with the football, and the people didn't like that at all. So starting this season, if you make the playoffs, you'll get a chance to answer if the other team scores first, and that way you get a chance to keep a great game as well as your hopes alive as you chase the big prize. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After the interception, here's Tannehill. Open man, Westbrook Akine. And that's not going to help a whole lot. Maybe four yards on first down. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill, eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Now a timeout called for by the offense. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Let's go, come on! Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, on for a very important punt here in overtime. That's taken on the 25. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine yard return, 50 on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, this is a pretty rare situation here, Charles. You get into overtime, neither team coming through with even a field goal on their first drive. So now, sudden death with the time remaining. Next score wins. And now I would say that going at it might be a little bit easier for both teams now because they've eased into overtime. That first series, boy, everything on the line then. Now you've seen what a defense is throwing at you. You can make some adjustments, and all you need is three points to win it. From just outside of field goal range. Three points, all that's needed. Here's first and ten. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. And that is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They go play action with Hertz. Towards the end zone for Brown. 
And it's caught. Touchdown. They win the Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs.